Hello, my name is Don and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about budget night vision, so don't go anywhere. So a couple of months ago, I was contacted by this company called OneLeaf. They make this night vision scope monocular combination. Uh, you get a decent 3 to 12 by 56 scope. I'd say if you bought the scope uh, by itself, it's probably in the $150 range. Uh, it's a 3 to 12 by 56. Uh, it has decent turrets on it. It has a illuminated reticle and it does have adjustable parallax. It's not a bad scope at all. Uh, then it comes with the night vision monocular. Now this monocular does detach from the scope. It's actually a pretty ingenious design and in how that hooks up to the scope. Now it's got some uh, buttons on the back here. It's really easy to use and to set up. Uh, it has a laser that I couldn't really find a use for. And then it has a night vision illuminator on the front here. It does a decent job, but uh, you might want to add a, another illuminator. Uh, you can buy them pretty reasonable. So this combination does come with a set of rings. They're decent, uh, but I did end up using a Arkin mount. Uh, it does have a cantilever mount on it. Sometimes you have to get these moved forward so that you can get this into a comfortable position. Um, and the problem is, is a comfortable position with the this whole setup is not a comfortable position if you were to take this off. Now, I do find um, when I'm trying to shoot this scope without the monocular attached, I have to really lean into it, and it's not really a comfortable position. But it does work pretty decent um, when you set it up with the mono monocular attached. So I've been using the scope for a couple of months uh, on and off, and the reason I agreed to do the, uh, the review on it is because I was in the market for a scope cam. Uh, now I did end up buying a trigger cam, and uh, if you could combine the trigger cam and this unit together, I think you would have a pretty good product. Uh, the downfall on the trigger cam is uh, it's you're not actually looking through a screen. So you can't tell if your recording is in focus or not. That's the main problem with the trigger cam. Now you can pair it to uh, your iPhone or to a tablet and then you can see if your recording is in uh, focus at that point. But it's kind of a pain in the butt. Now this unit, you don't have to do that because you're actually looking at a screen through here. So you can tell if your video is in focus just by using the scope, which is a big, big um, advantage in my opinion. Okay, so the biggest problem with this unit, if you want to use this to record audio, the audio is set to such a high uh, volume that it distorts. Like I'm sure right now, it's distorting and actually I will switch the audio off of this camera and only run the audio through this camera right now. As you can see, this is, the, the volume is just unacceptable and you can't adjust it. It's, it's just set to a really high and it's so high that it's very distorted. So I'm going to switch it back now. Other than that, you know, it's really not a bad setup. Um, it takes decent video. Uh, where am I at? Here we go. There's the target. So it takes decent video. That's a target at 50 yards. That's my uh, KYL that I have set up for 100 yards. You know, that's, you know, it's a scope cam. All right, so we're gonna try this uh, KYL rack at 50 yards. Let's see what happens here. Looks like it's shooting a little bit to the right. You would have nicked it. Let's 
nicked it. Oh, well, we, at least we cleared it uh, one for one. Okay, so we're on a filled edge right now. Notice how the center of the crosshair area is darker. I think that has something to do with uh, the sun is to the right and in the background. So I don't have a sunshade on this. It did not come with a sunshade. So I'm kind of wondering if that's what that's from, if we're getting the hazing around the edge there because of the, where the sun is located. Uh, at least that seems like it to me. So right there, that's about 300 yards, and I believe we're on about 12 power there. Uh, that corner there is 480 yards. Those barns back there, that, that last barn was 1,000 yards. I just wanted to show you what this uh, looks like on a field edge. Let's get back to the review. Let's see what the warranty is on this unit. All right, so you do get a two-year warranty. Uh, covers any uh, manufacturing and assembling defects. Uh, it says, for repairable defectives out of warranty, one leaf will repair them at no charge. Customers are required to cover all shipping costs for returning back and sending replacement. I don't understand. How does it have a two-year warranty if they're going to fix it out of warranty? So if you were to buy this unit by itself, the NV116 millimeter, uh, it's $299. So if you wanted to buy just this unit here, which is the monocular, which you can use it as a monocular, um, it will come with uh, an attachment to a scope. And if you want to buy other attachments, so let's say the one it comes with doesn't fit your scope, you can buy other, there's I think two other attachments. Well, people do buy this to use it on their own scope, but the problem that I found with that, because I tried to put this on a few of my scopes, is once you have your scope set up, okay, so you have what, maybe three inches of eye relief there? This is well longer than three inches, so what happens is, right now it's not too bad. I can kind of come in, I'm leaning back a little bit, but it's not bad. When you try to put this on your other scope without moving your scope forward, you're way back here like this trying to use this um, this unit. So the size of it is a little, um, I think they would have been better to kind of go up and over the scope a little bit. That way, you, you know, I, I would think that this shouldn't be any more than three inches long. That way, you know, you don't have to mess with your scope, which you've already sighted in. Uh, you have it set up just the way you want it, and why would you want to move the scope forward, have to re-zero the rifle just to use the night vision unit? All right, well, let's come back here when it gets dark, and we'll do a little bit more filming uh, through the night vision unit, so stand by. There's the 50-yard KYL, and it's pretty dark out here right now. But let's, try and, let's try and clear this KYL. see the shot Yep. 
That's pretty impressive. Alright. You know, guys, I'm just happy that I'm hitting even that large one at 100 yards. I mean, that's the size of the head of a bunny, you know. That's a dead bunny. Last but not least, I want to show you the one leaf monocular on a track torque. So this is a track torque two and a half to 15. Now I do find that the lower powered scopes uh, do work a little better on this. Uh, when you start getting over 20 power, uh, the image starts closing in on you a little bit and degrading. Um, but with the lower powered scopes like this, it, it works out pretty good. Uh, now, I did have to make some modifications to the stock in order to do this. And if you were just thinking that you could throw this unit on your scope without doing something, you, you, you got another thing coming. Uh, I had to put the straight tapered cheek piece on it, and I had to add an inch to the length of pull. But I've got it set up quite quite good where I'm quite comfortable and it you know it works out pretty good so the other thing i wanted to show you too i don't know if any of you guys have used a trigger cam but the trigger cam uh adjusting the the reticle is up on top and sometimes you got to use like a little screwdriver or something in there because it sits uh beneath the top of the uh the unit this one you do it right here a roll adjuster right here and you can sharpen the reticle up right here without having i mean you could do it on the fly all right well let's go out to the field and uh then we'll uh, do some final thoughts and we'll wrap this thing up so this is the field edge that corner right there is about 440 yards away those barns back there that barn is a thousand Forty yards away. Now watch this. Now this has a digital zoom. So I'm going to zoom in. So now that should be about 10 power on the scope because it's 5 power, which I'm at times 2. Now we have. So this is a 3 power digital zoom. I'm not sure what that bumps it up to. Maybe 30 power. So. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. And the digital zoom is actually pretty darn good on it. And that uh, little tree right there is about 480 yards away. I'm not sure how far that uh, woods is back there. Maybe a mile. Maybe more. A mile and a half. This thing I think takes pretty darn good video for $300 and it has night vision. I really don't think you can go wrong. Let's zoom in on that. Uh, I'm going to zoom in on it. That's pretty darn good. Makes pretty impressive video. There's the farmer. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty sweet. All for 300 bucks. Can't beat that. So does this product have some quirks? Yeah, it's got some quirks, but it's only 300 dollars. I can get over the audio problem and mainly because I'm always using another camera to film anyway so I can just use the audio off of this camera and mute the audio on this camera. Where I run into a major problem is how much length it adds to your setup here. But if you have an adjustable length of pull and an adjustable comb, that can be fixed within seconds. So it's really not that big a deal. Uh, the nice thing about this unit is, is you're looking, what you're seeing through your viewfinder is what your recording is. So you know whether it's in focus or not, which you don't on the trigger cam. Uh, I have found what's in focus when I'm looking through the scope on the trigger cam, for some reason is not in focus for the camera. So a lot of YouTubers have been getting a lot of footage that is out of focus. Uh, and I find that unfortunate, especially when, you know, 
we do this uh, as a profession. You know, we want our videos to look professional, and when they're out of focus, they just don't. And this unit, you don't have to worry about that. But guys, I really don't think for $300 you can go wrong. I've been comparing this to the trigger cam a lot, and uh, the trigger cam doesn't have night vision. This does, and it's actually decent night vision. So for 300 bucks, how can you go wrong? Guys, whether you buy this or not, it makes no difference to me. I have no affiliation with One Leaf. If you buy a scope, I don't get a dime, so I don't really care what you do. Uh, but if it were my money, I would buy one because you know, for 300 bucks, you got something you can film your hunts with. You got something you can go on night hunts and predator hunt. Uh, you got something that takes decent video when you're target shooting and it only costs you 300 bucks. What more can you ask for? All right, guys, well, that's pretty much all I got for you today. If you like what you saw, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing here, go down there and smash that subscribe button. I can't build this channel without you. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.